Well, there is outrage growing as Russia continues to defy White House pressure to return Edward Snowden to the United States before he leaves Moscow. President Vladimir Putin's press secretary denying any knowledge of the NSA leakers' movements, while another Russian lawmaker asked why the U.S. should expect restraint and understanding from Moscow. All this is putting more strain on an already frosty relationship between the two countries, frayed by disagreements over Syria, Iran, and nuclear arms. Let's talk about it with Marvin Kalb, uh, an Edward R. Murrow professor of, of practice emeritus. He is also a former NBC News correspondent, where he served as the Moscow bureau chief and also former anchor of Meet the Press. So what about it? First of all, it, it sounded a little weird when uh, Putin's office denied having any knowledge of Edward Snowden's whereabouts when we know he was at the Moscow airport. What's that all about? Well, I mean, that, that's what, what it's all about is it's just silly. Obviously, they know. And for the United States right now, there are really two related, interrelated issues. One has to do specifically with Snowden. How do you get him back? The Russians right now are playing games with us. They clearly have the ability to turn him over, but they're not doing that. They want to extract as much embarrassment for the Obama administration as possible. On the other hand, however, nations deal with national security interests. They try to go above the interests of a particular individual. The national security interest of the U.S. right now is to be on reasonably good terms with Russia, seeking Russian cooperation in the war zone area of Syria, and looking just several months ahead to the possibility of having the U.S. having to do anything about the Iranian nuclear program. These are big issues, and the U.S. is right now trying to balance one with the other, and national security is almost inevitably going to trump an individual's. So are, you're saying that we might not push as hard as some people might like us to push? Yeah, I think that is about what it turns out. If the United States can push uh, at a Russian door, knowing that it's going to get the door open and get Snowden through it, sure, you go ahead and do that. But I would imagine, I don't know this for a fact, but I would imagine that at the White House and at the State Department, they have in mind larger interest than just Snowden. And those interests really do coincide on Russian cooperation with Syria. Now, they may not cooperate at all on Syria, but the U.S. has to operate as though that is a possibility. President Obama, as we know, has famously tried to hit the reset button on relations with uh, Moscow and has also been trying to build a relationship with China. And yet those are the two countries we know of so far that Edward Snowden has fled to. What does that say? Well, what that says is that all of this must be infuriating to the Obama administration. The president himself, I understand, has not publicly said anything about this. But look, the Chinese clearly had the ability to hold Snowden in Hong Kong and send him back to the U.S. They chose not to do that. And this was after the president was talking only a couple of weeks ago with a new Chinese leader. So that does not look good. On the Russian side, the president knows already that his relations with Putin are strained. That's obvious to anybody. The Russians right now could be doing many worse things with respect to Snowden, but they're not. And so maybe there's the minimal satisfaction in the Russians simply allowing Snowden to stop in Moscow before he goes on to wherever he's going to end up. Very quickly, is this about embarrassing the president, the, the nation, or both? Oh, I, it, they do come together, obviously, but I think that Putin probably has Obama in mind. Marvin Kalb. Interesting. Thank you, Marvin.